Hey YouTube, it's Tams the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm sorry the bit the videos are a little bit few and far between, but I've been trying to find Halloween goods and Essex is so poor this year. Um, TK Maxx has completely done away in two of their TK Maxx's in Essex. They've done away with all their Halloween stuff, including costumes. So this week I'm going to drive over to Harlow, which is about 24 mile away, and just have one more look in Home Sense, and then that will be it. If they haven't got anything, I won't bother going back again. Um, yeah, sadly, those are my favourite shops. Um, I haven't been Matterland. I don't know if Matterland has anything. I haven't been there. Um, I've been today to the Pound Shop. I've been in Home Bargains, obviously TK Maxx, nothing. And I've also been to a nursery a garden center in Enfield in Middlesex and they have a Halloween little Halloween haunt there it's not as big as it usually is but it still had some good stuff um and I don't usually buy props but I did buy a couple of bits just because I liked them so yeah a little Halloween haul I think it's number seven um yeah at least we've got something to um to do a haul about so first of all <laughs> I want to show you this. Now, it literally is just arms. The body just all hangs. And it's obviously a clown. Can you see this plastic area here? Excuse my nails, they're all chipped. Um, this lights up. But he was reduced to three quid because, I think he was about a tenner, because his button has fell off for um, lighting up all this. This all flashes. So I bought him. I think my husband can go in and fiddle with that. Um, I'm not actually that bothered. I don't want him making loads of noise. My dogs will be trying to rip him off the wall. <laughs> but I'm going to hang him up somewhere. And maybe I've got some red fluff. Maybe give him a better haircut. Um, but I quite liked him. And I weren't leaving him there for that price. So yeah. Here's my first, my first item. Um, let's sit in there. So he was quite sweet. So I went into um, Home Bargains. Um, which is kind of like the pound shop, I suppose. It's in the UK. Um, and I went into Home Bargains and I got this, which was £3 and it's a black plastic pumpkin. I mean, it literally is just light, but I like this. It's got green inside. So I thought that looked quite cool and I quite like that. I think it... Oh, it's got a light in it. Oh, it goes... Oh, I didn't know it did this. I literally thought you stood your own in there. Oh, it goes blue, green, red. Oh, and mauve. Oh, that's actually quite good for three pound. I should have got a couple. Oh, never mind. Um, I might stand one in the window just uh, just because it's light and if the dogs jump up, um, it can't hurt them if it falls off. It's not actually what I bought it for. I bought it for filming videos. I thought like having things like that, you know, in the background is quite cool and I thought it'd look quite cool to do like a bit more of a display or... A little bit more exciting things for people to watch because all you ever see is half my altar and some bookcases which I am, am piling things up on. Um, we still haven't finished decorating. I know, it's just ridiculous. If you follow me on here, you'll know that I've been decorating. I'm cold. Um, I've been decorating for ages and now we've started a new project. My husband's building us a... I'm not going to call it a shade because it's not a shade. It's, it, it is a shade, but it's quite... It's quite nice. Um, he's building us an outside room to put a spin bike and a lap pull down machine, weight bench and all that. So like a little gym, it's only small, it's not massive, but it's enough for me and him to use because here in Essex, it's very busy and trying to go to the gym, it's not going to happen. And with COVID and you never know if it's going in lockdown. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I want to go in a gym and then I don't know if I want to work out in a mask. So do you know what? We're building one. Um, we are lucky that we have quite a decent garden, even though the house is tiny. Um, but again, it's, it's stopping other things happening. So we are trying to get finished. I've still not unpacked. It's a nightmare. Anyway, 3 99 He's really cold. And, and I actually got this one in Tesco's. I think he was four quid and he has nothing. That's why I thought that one didn't have anything inside. He's just completely black. And I thought I'd put this with my Halloween... Um, with my Halloween Michael Myers stuff. This They do this in Tesco's in orange, and I'm going to get that when I go back tomorrow. Um, I think they were £4. I didn't really look, to be honest. It is just like, look, it's light as anything. It is just plastic. 
Um, oh, I'm getting hot now. This fleece is quite warm. <laughs> um, Ted's, what are you doing? I bought them a couple of um, presents for Crimbo. When I was in Home Bargains, they have a um, massive green dinosaur that squeaks and a unicorn. <laughs> and they know they're over there. And they'll be on at me all day. I'm going to have to hide them. Anyway, so we've got that. I also bought in Home Bargains this. Now, this is like, it's only plastic. It's only light. But, I mean, it's full of some sort of sweets, which I'll probably give to my niece or something. But um, it's, you know, it's got like a proper lid. I'm, oh, it's stuck with sellotape. It's got a lid. And this little handle, which I, you know, you could have up if you like that, right? But I don't really want it for the sweets. I want it for my cotton wool balls for the bedroom. I thought I'd put my cotton wool balls in it for my nail varnish. Um, and that's what I'm going to have my cotton wool in for the bedroom. Because I like halloween -y stuff everywhere. And I thought, oh, that's really cool. And it was like 3 20 or something like that. So that was cheap. In the pound shop, I got this. I have quite a few of them just blinded everyone it is a skull they are bottles with corks and in the cork is the um yeah it's a shame it's so i turned it on i don't think you can it's got like all little lights in it they go out they're in there every year they're actually one pound fifty now they're not a pound but when the lights break and they don't work anymore i really hate don't just hate price tags and stuff why can't they make them so that they're not like stuck on for life <laughs> Um, well, we know why they do it. It's because people swap prices over, but there you go. It's annoying for those who don't do that. Um, yeah, so what I do, sorry, deviating. I'm deviating a lot today, aren't I? Um, yeah, so I was too excited about all the shopping. Oh, shit, I've squashed the clown. Um, yeah, so what I do is I actually use these jars for my witchy stuff because it's actually a proper glass jar and you can put like a cork in it. So you could use this for moon water or fire water or whatever you was making if you was making an oil or something. This is really good. So... Um, I have about five, I think, maybe more. I kept buying them, I remember, in the pound shop. The pound fifty now, so I just bought another one. Anyway, um, in the pound shop, this was £2. Now, it has a spider stuck to the front of it. Well, that's coming off. I should go over that. I don't want that. I'm going to try and turn the skull around. I want the red bottle with the skull, and I actually want to keep my fire water. Um, if you wonder what the hell I'm talking about, I'm pagan. Um, if you don't watch my channel, yes, I'm pagan and I make, um, obviously, um, potions and things and witchcrafty things and, um, you know, spells and spell jars and waters and washes and all sorts of stuff. So this would be really cool for a floor wash or for my fire water. Um, this is really stuck. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out. I'm going to try. I'll probably break it. It was two pound, but... It is just a really cool bottle as well. May go back and get if I can get the lid off, I've got to go back and buy a couple more. They did have one with a bat on. I wasn't really interested in like all this um sort of bit childish, you know, obviously, my, you know, like uh spider. I wasn't really in childish, she says, <laughs> with a plastic pot for her cotton wool balls. Um yeah, I thought it'd be quite cool for one of my um oils or something that I've made for my magic stuff so um i'm going to try and do that but they do they do have a few of these in they and they have one with a bat one with a lizard the lizard was quite cute but then it ruined it with the sticker the lizard one was green with a lizard like where the skull was and the bat one was black with a with a bat but then it was the sticker bits that i thought ruined it personally but i think i can probably get rid of that i don't know how they've got that on there because Oh, it's actually printed on there. That ain't a sticker. Hmm. Might be a bit more difficult, but we'll turn it round. So, yeah. And last but not least. He's not full size. But he's big. And I got him at the I got him at the garden centre at the little Halloween haunt place. Um, he was £10. And he, he sits like that. He's got his legs move around. You can sit him. All these bits move. Somebody's put some of the legs on back to front on some of them. This one is a little bit bent up. I might have to water him. Yeah. He's cute. And he's going over by the telly. He's about... I'm going to go with four foot. He's four foot long. And he was a tenner. So, yeah. It's not the greatest. You know, I like showing all of the ornaments and all of that kind of stuff. It's not the greatest. But... 
it's a Halloween haul nonetheless, and I'm still pleased I went. Um, I have filmed the haul, and um, I have filmed the Halloween haul at the garden centre. It's about three minutes long. I'm going to put it on just so you can see. They had a few cute things and um, funny things, and then they had this witch. I don't know if I got the witch in the video, but I will put a picture. A photo of her on Instagram she was £97 and I'm not wasting £97 on her that would buy a, that would buy some good figures or something for my horror collection but she was cool she did make a lot of noise and she had a bowl like a bowl and she had boots and everything and I must admit I liked her a lot but I'm not paying that I don't usually buy Halloween props but as it's all a bit sparse out I felt like I needed to buy something <laughs> anyway I hope you like this video hopefully Hopefully, I might have another haul before Halloween. Um, and there'll be some witchy stuff just before Halloween. Of course, it's not just Halloween for me and for other pagans. It's Samhain. So um, there'll be stuff for that, obviously, on here. I have been a bit um, behind with videos. Um, if you watched my last video, you'll know that I said um, I've got some exciting news coming. And that is why I'm a little bit behind. I'm busy um, ordering. So I will let you know what that is soon. Um, and then there'll be loads of videos. Um, you, you won't be able to get rid of me. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like this. See you all soon. Take care. Ta-da.